Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to make sure we all know how to calculate percentage changes with Excel. So first, I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of data about some counties throughout the country that have uh, had the, the, the best or the fastest population growth. So let me go ahead and type up some data real quick. Okay, so there's my data. And off to the side, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the increase. Actually, I should just call it change, even though these all did increase. We should assume that sometimes the numbers might be a little bit less. Okay, so I'll go ahead and size these columns so they're all equal. So when I want to calculate percentage change, I'm going to use a very simple formula. I'm going to use new minus the old divided by the old. And in this case, it's really easy to tell which number is which because we have years associated with them. We have a newer number, even though it's not 2016. We have the newest number, and we have the oldest number. So if I'm going to write this out in Excel, equals, you notice I'm using parentheses here. I need parentheses in this formula. My new number minus my old number closing parentheses, divided by the old number. Remember that, new minus the old, divided by the old. That's going to give me a percentage change between two values. And when I press Enter, I'm going to get a result. Now, by default, most of the time, it's going to give you this decimal format. And that's not a big deal. But if you want to see percentages, then you just need to format this number as a percentage. So if I click on the cell that is not formatted the way I want, now I can use the percent style, and then I will show a couple of decimal places so that I can see that the change in population in San Juan County, Utah from 2015 to 2016 was about 7.56%. And once I'm satisfied that I've got a good working formula for this one cell, I can use my autofill handle, double click, and expand or extend that formula to the other rows. So now we've got a list of all of these percentage changes for these top 10 counties. I'm going to go ahead and bold that top row real quick. So new minus the old divided by the old. New population figure minus the old population figure divided by the old population figure. I will take a second to go ahead and select my population cells. I'm going to use a comma style on those with no decimal place. There we go. So that's calculating percentage change between two values.